Hi, Gemini. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. So, Gemini, it's mid-October already. Holy smokes, I can't believe it. Um, Gemini, I am going to be doing a little uh, different type of spread today than my normal. So, today I am going to do a Tree of Life spread. I will be using the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. Uh, they're very Celtic inspired, um, which I'm drawn to Celtic. Uh, my lineage is very, very Celtic heavy. So uh, I thought it'd be fun to just, you know, try something new. So we are going to be doing your um, roots. Your, your tree roots are going to be cards one through four. And then the base will be card five in the middle. And then your branches are going to be six through nine at the top, okay? So the roots are going to be regarding the uh, energy that's occurring right now um, in your, you know, mental, physical, spiritual uh, body. And then the base card is going to be um, for where you are right now in your life, okay? So, you know... Uh, uh, where you are at that, this point in your life and in your journey. And then the branches are going to be where you're heading. Okay. So you're going to see me just, you know, laying out some cards and then we'll go through them. I will get you some angel messages at the end to leave you with as well. So I'm uh, not taking this card, but I'm just going to show you that it popped out. It's transformation, butterfly spirit. So many Geminis are going through a transformation um, I can say for myself, because I am a fellow Gemini, that um, I'm definitely right now going through some sort of a um, transformation uh, or, you know, um, moving into a, a different, awake going through an awakening and moving to a different uh, energetic level, if you will. Uh, Mercury is in retrograde, so that too makes it quite interesting. Um, but that's, you know, going to be ending here real soon, I think. We're coming right up to it, but, you know, another week or so for that residual. Um, the trust card came out as well. So crystal cave, of course, look at all those crystals, um, as you can see. Um so yeah, all right, Gemini. Uh, that's another thing is communication has been really shoddy for me lately, but and all the technology is crashing around me like crazy time. I can't crazy town. So Gemini, remember like, share, subscribe if you like my vibe. My readings are resonating with you, and you know activation. I just saw the card of activation. Uh, what I was going to say is that, um, you know, when you, the more involved you get with my channel, the more I tap into your energy. So, um, when that happens, the more we are, um, the readings will start vibing with you. So like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate all your love and support. Remember that this is a general reading. So this is good for, um, the collective Gemini's out there, it may not resonate with you 100% Gemini, okay? And that's okay if not. Um, take what does, leave the rest for someone else. Um, and if you're not finding what you're looking for here, then definitely check out another reader on YouTube. There's so many beautiful readers out there. So let's go ahead and get started with your Tree of Life spread Gemini, okay? What do we have? Um, yeah, uh, thicket of, of thorns, uncertainty, and, you know, I can feel that. I, I can resonate with that personally because, um, I've, you know, the energy has been quite chaotic right now with Mercury in retrograde, um, Wow, the trust card is right there. So uncertainty, 
you know, she she's like, she's looking through the forest. Um, the path is lit, but she's, she's still, and I'm saying she, but it could, it, you know, take it how it resonates, male, female, it doesn't have to be she. Um, but, you know, like looking and seeing that there's butterflies and expansion and the light is there and you're on the right path, but still like feeling a little bit uncertainty uh, about it and prosperity, like uncertain, being uncertain if um, your abundance is coming in. Um, so, you know, need the need to trust is what I'm hearing. You know, you see that, like, trust that, that the universe, trust that spirit, trust that um, everything that is happening is meant to happen right now. And that this is divinely guided, is what I keep hearing. Um, and it, it's divinely guided and it's meant to happen because this is going to help you to grow. Um, as I was saying, you know, getting, like, to that next level. Many of you, um, air, the air signs, particularly right now, during doing readings, I'm finding that they're really going through it. Uh, many of us are um, being ignited, being activated, being um, woken up. Um, and for those of us that already are, we are being um, activated even more, like more of an awakening, opening up more, um, things really becoming crystal clear for us. Okay. So, I mean, that's the energy right now. That's what's going on for the Geminis right now. You know, it's, uh, this, a lot of us are feeling uncertain about, you know, what's ahead. Um, a lot of us are kind of dealing, I think, with, uh, you know, um, prosperity has been a big thing for, for Geminis. But, you know, I do believe that good things are coming. Um, I do believe that. And I'm starting to feel that. I'm starting to see the signs of that. So many of you might be do going through the same sort of transition, transformation, and, and like it's starting the signs are starting to show that, you know, okay, uh, I can do this. I get that this is happening. And now I'm starting to see, you know, um, the changes that are slowly starting to present themselves. So let's go ahead and find out the base here. So flexibility. So, you know, the need to be flexible. Um, the base card here is about um, your the center of your roots, right? So your core. Um, so, you know, it's the need to be flexible, Geminis, um, right now, especially. Especially, you know, with everything that's going on and all the changes that are happening and Mercury is in retrograde. Um, it's important to be flexible I just started yawning. I haven't yawned all day. Um, and so what I, I, anytime I start yawning, I feel like that's an indicator that, you know, some of you guys are really tired. Some of you guys, um, have been really exhausted and, um, it might be because you're fighting certain things. And that's why this, uh, willow spirit here and is here and the need to be flexible. Um, so that you're not feeling so challenged and again exhausted wow okay gemini's let's go into where you're heading so protection guardians of the land wow so you're protected we are seeing that here in this card um You are protected, but I want to find out the message in this card. Um, 
Yeah, it's saying you're safe. These words seem to emerge from the land and radiate from the trees to the echo into your soul. Uh, you hear these words again and again. The sacred guardians of the land are whispering to you, you are safe. You know that you are protected and cared for. You can feel tendrils of their loving energy wrap around you and embrace you. Their unleashed power cocoons you in safety. And the, the message says, um, you are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces. Within this, you can soar to great heights. Yeah. Um, so, Gemini, you guys are protected. Look at that. I want you to see this photo. I had to read it because um, you see, like out in in the outer in the outer woods, it's almost like in between to the light and the dark, right? Um, and in there's balance between light and dark, but you see, you know, that there are, um, the forest animals, they're protecting you. They're watching over you. They're taking care of you. Um, you are heavily, heavily protected. And so, you know, that's why they're saying, they're saying to you, um, to trust, trust where you're led, trust those little messages, trust, um, the guidance that you're receiving, because I know many of you are receiving guidance right now. Um, but it's like your ancestors are here protecting, protecting you, um, and guiding you on, you know, this path. I know that it's been difficult. Gemini's have been dealing with something for a really long time now. You're, you've, you know, if they're still saying patience, that you're still going to need to be patient. Um, this is something even coming into the near future where you're heading that um, patience is definitely going to be required of you. But, you know, miracles are, are going to be unfolding and happening. Uh, the rainbow waterfall. Miracles. So, you know, they're saying to you, be patient because the miracles are coming. Uh, the things that you've been waiting for are coming. The, the seeds you planted are coming into fruition. That, um, you know, there's no need to be uncertain. That, you know, you can trust this. You can trust the path that you're guided on. And you can, you can even trust yourself. Um, because you know, you're being protected. It's like you can't make any um, wrong decisions right now. Uh, it's like you're, you're this light in the world. Um, and for other people is what I keep hearing, but you're not, you're not sure of that for yourself. You're, you're very uncertain about, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this, you know, the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Um, and, and, uh, spirit is, is just telling you, yes, you are, you know, just trust and be patient because the miracles are, are coming. Um, you know, they just want you to go with the flow of this right now. Uh, because where you're headed is, you know, heading into seeing some, some pretty, pretty awesome miracles coming your way, Gemini. Um, I do feel that very, very, um, strongly. Yeah. So the next cards I just wanted to take some is the ancient oak spirit, which is about strength. Um, you know, and we know that oak trees are very, very strong. This is literally the, the card on the, the deck there, the, uh, card on the box here. And this is about, you know, you having strength, persevering, Gemini, 
Um, there's going to be some sort of renewal in the future um, and a new beginning. You know, this is the t number 10, so that's the end of a cycle, right? 10 is the, the end, um, and, you know, 1 is the new beginning, a new start. So there's a new beginning that's uh, approaching Gemini in the near future. Yeah, because you've been manifesting this. You've been manifesting a new beginning. You've been manifesting your dreams. You've been, you've had courage. You've been so courageous and you've been manifesting change and you've been healing. Yeah. So you have wisdom at the bottom. So much going on here, Gemini. This is actually really beautiful energy. I feel like many of you have been healing. Something has happened um, you know, that, that, uh, kind of put the Gemini's in a very, um, uh, this energy of defeat. Um, and I feel like a lot of you have been, you know, working through it. And this isn't just my readings that show this, you know, if you look on, on, you know, YouTube, it, majority of the readers, if you go back even uh, over even the last couple of years, uh, Gemini's have been, there's been a storyline that's been um, a pretty common storyline for the Gemini's and it's been really, really tough for a lot of them. Um, so it's looking like that cycle is my point is com coming to an end. There's going to be some sort of new beginning, a renewal in, in, um, this part of your life. Um, and the reason for that is because you've been manifesting it. Like you've been doing the work that's necessary for this to transform. So, um, this is beautiful. I, I love this for you guys, Gemini. Um, I'm going to go ahead now, Gemini, we're going to wrap it up and get you some messages from the angels. We'll leave you with some advice uh, from the angels. What advice do we have for Gemini? This is for their Tree of Life spread for mid-October 2021. What last messages do you have for Gemini's? Okay. So don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing, gems. There will be a peaceful resolution. There's going to be a peaceful resolution to something. It's, 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 it's going to be something. Meditating brings answers. There's going to be something that definitely, yeah, patience and wait. At the bottom of the deck, um, success. And I also saw recovery. The next card is yes. Okay, so whatever you were thinking about during this reading, whatever you were just, you know, thinking about as I was pulling these cards, uh, as you were thinking about um, the end of this reading, the answer is yes. There is a peaceful resolution coming on. There's going to be a renewal of something. Um, you just need to be patient, but believe me, that there's going to be some sort of miracle that happens. Um, this is going to catch you off guard and you're going to be really, really pleasantly surprised Gemini's. So Gemini, that's what I have for you. You guys are beautiful. The next card here goes from healing to happiness. So, um, I'm sending you guys love and light. Like I said, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys so much. Um, and if you are looking for a personal reading, my info is in the description box below. So you guys take care, gems, and I will see you next time. Bye.